What's up guys, it's your boy Ace Madden. For those of you who want an edge on your competition in Madden 17, check the description for details and obtain my lethal mini schemes. What's up guys, it's your boy Ace coming at you again with another Madden tip. And before I get into the video, I kind of just want to explain what I'm doing with my channel right now. I'm going through all the offensive playbooks. I'm pretty much done. I have like three or four playbooks left I believe and the reason I'm just going chronological is because I just want the people who play mutt to know what's in their playbooks I don't know what the most common playbook is on mutt or anything so I'm just doing all of them um, just getting all the content out there I can and this play I've actually gone over before I'm pretty sure I don't know if it's the exact same setup but you know it's a universal concept to beat cover three and this formation is just really good. And I'm going to show you actually how to improve it a little bit against vanilla cover three on how to just to get a little bit better protection and that kind of stuff. So if you've seen this before, sorry. Um, but if you use the Jets playbook, I'm sure you'd be glad to know this is in your playbook. So gun empty jet is the formation. Great formation when you have the running back and the tight end on the line. Really helps with protection. And you can manipulate a lot of coverages. So let's get into it. The play is FL deep in. Just go against nickel cover three sky. So what we're going to do here, RB on a zig, B on a comeback, Y on a fade, and then we're going to hit LB or L1 on PS4 for the pass protection and then slide to the right. This way we can get away with not blocking our tight end. If you pay attention to the right of screen defensive end, he's going to get doubled. Okay, he did not get doubled that time, and I throw a pick. That's kind of embarrassing. Let's try that again. Slide protect right. There we go. So that's what I'm looking for. He kind of passes him off, and then we get the one play touchdown. I just like doing I mean, it's one less person you got to put in coverage. But then again, this is not – you don't always play vanilla defense. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But you're rolling out to the right anyways. So I figure go ahead and roll out. I mean, sorry, not roll out. Pass protect to the right. Just like that. Okay, he doesn't get he doesn't get blocked. Okay, so let's just let's just stop getting fancy and I'll just show you the play. Block the tight end. I just don't like how he gets power rush sometimes. It's kind of Still get it in. He just gets bulldozed. If you just pay attention to him, the animation is kind of kind of scary because he just looks like he's about to get pushed into you. Yeah, like that. You see what I'm talking about? Still getting pretty good protection. Let's try that again. I'm going to try the slide protect again. You just get more separation too on your post route. Just be careful. There we go. It passes him off correctly. And you get it to your man for the one play touchdown. So this is something I think I've shown before. I actually added the zig. I, I think I used to leave RB on his route, but the zig is better. I'll show you why. Because let's say... A, our tight end doesn't do a good job blocking. We have, okay, he was supposed to be on a comeback. The zig occupies the curl to flat. Sorry, I'm just kind of a mess today. Just like that. So you can get it to your comeback too if you just, you don't feel comfortable. Comeback if keep doing that but this will be the last time I run it I don't I don't want to waste any more time that's why I like him right there too because he's kind of a insurance option in case you know defensive end gets off his block just like that so you have options here with the obviously the post route is the money route so that's the play guys sorry I was kind of all over the place today um, I've actually been in the lab for like an hour and 
you know, I was trying to go through a bunch of different formations that I just wasn't finding anything. And then obviously this formation is really good and there's other stuff I can show you out of this one too. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did. And as always, if you enjoyed daily Madden tips, please hit the sub button. Appreciate it guys.